Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Chris from ANC Candles and Car Air Fresheners. So I've been getting a lot of um, messages on my Facebook Messenger and on YouTube to show you guys how to fragrance the um, card stocks. So the ones that I've made, I'm just going to show you guys what I've made and um, how I uh, fragrance them. People have asked me, do I brush on them? Do I spray on them? Do I soak them? in the fragrance oil you could do a lot of this but you got to be careful because some of these um, card stocks they don't have for example the polyester if you soak a polyester it might take forever to dry up and also it might um, smear the ink so the ink might start running off from your design if you use cotton cotton tend to um, dry faster and they, they tend to uh, absorb the oil quicker and so there is not um, that smearing of ink on your cardstock or on your product. So I've done some examples before on my videos, um, you, you can find them in my channel. But um, people wanted to know how I can or how they can fragrance these ones that I carry because as many of you know I started um, selling the uh, cardstock that you guys can use to make your own car air freshness. So I'm going to show you guys the example of what I created. So I did this one the other day on the video and the battery died but you can you guys can see the end result of it. Okay, you guys can see the end result of it. You can see a little bit of blemishes there because when I was um, pressing on it, putting iron um, heat on it, the the uh, the material that, that it was laid on got a stain from the previous um, application. So it kind of smeared on it and that gave it that, that um, color right here. But if you're gonna do this, make sure you're your area that this is going to lay on it's clean so you don't have this situation but um, I've, I corrected that situation when I made this this one was made yesterday okay and I've made other ones like this so I keep going out of the out of the focus here all right so right here okay so you can make any design you want using my cardstock okay and i've given you guys specific instruct or specific instructions on how to apply your heat you don't want to do it too um too early or too late there there are some specification i gave up like about the 60 second rules that i gave okay so you guys i'm going to show you how i make this application again you can use um the the brush on or you can use the dabbing method Whichever one you want to do, um, this product will absorb them. All right. All right. Give me a second here. Let me get myself situated and I'll come right back. All right. I'm back. Um, I believe you guys can see them lined up. And you can see that I've mixed already my DPG and also my car, uh, my fragrance oil. All right. You want to stir this. You want to mix one to one. I've used um, different ratio before uh, and people have asked me do I use the same ratio for all my fragrance oil and the answer is no the reason is because different fragrance oil has their own different um, strength if you want to use if you use a very strong fragrance oil okay you don't want to put um, little of the DPG you want to put more of it so your ratio might be one part uh, fragrance oil and two parts DPG. If you, but if you're using a light um, fragrance oil, for example, um, clean cotton tends to be very light in the strength. Uh, you might want to use one to one, or you might even use two parts of um, fragrance oil and one part of um, DPG. All right. But if you're using something like fresh coffee, um, uh, what, what else? Um, Truffles, they are very very strong. Okay, um, fruit slice. Uh, what else is out there? Um, pumpkin souffle. You might want to use one part of the fragrance oil to two parts of the 
DPG okay so what I've done here I've used one to one because the oil I'm using here is is one of the ones that I have like a signature um, fragrance oil that I call the executive I love this fragrance so much I use it in my car currently and um, that's what I'm going to use to show you guys this and I'm going to be fragrancing three of this using um, this fragrance all right and also let me show you guys the way you can you can brush on this so you can use any of this brush to do your your application okay you can use any of this they will be fine and if you're gonna dab might as well use this one the small one if you're gonna just you know brush on them you can use this one or this one I'm dabbing so you can use this but um, I'm gonna go and just go around the corner of this okay just gonna go around the corner the edges all right so there are ways you can do it you can do the edges which a lot of people recommend that you do the manufacturers of this particular cardstock they recommend you go uh, on the edges because that's how they they made it for because they've treated the front of this okay they've treated it but I tend to take some risks. I, I like to do more of my own studies to see how far I can push some of these fragrance um, car air fresheners. For example, this one was fully um, done. I did this um, three days ago and I, I painted the whole thing. I brushed the whole thing and I wanted to see if it's going to be dry and it's, it's fully dry, you can see. Yeah, it's, it's three days that I did it, but the second that I came to, to check on it, it was a little bit dry, a little bit wet, okay? But after the third or the second day, um, the, the entire thing was dry. The entire thing was dry, okay? So that's what I did. I kind of, you know, paint around them, brush, whatever I want to call it. But they recommend that you just um, dab in the corners because when you dab in the corners, this one is a three... Uh, millimeters thickness you can see how thick that thing is so you dab in the corner it's gonna absorb everything within these corners okay so that's that's uh, what we're gonna do you can see it's absorbing this really fast Some might sip in the front, and that's okay. Some of you might have issues with um, seeing discoloration when you use your fragrance oil on your cardstock. It is normal because fragrance oil comes with their own colors, right? So because they come with their own colors, your, your cardstock might get a little bit of discoloration, all right? So you know. Okay, and you can see it's actually sipping through the entire card. You can see that it's sipping through it, which is okay. Okay, set that down. Alright, with this, I'm going to just brush on this one, okay? Just for example, so you guys can see. I'm going to brush on this one and we can see what happens, alright? Then I'm going to go on the side as well. Someone also asked me what is the, the fragrance low that you can put on this. Okay, so the fragrance load depend on the cardstock that you buy. If you buy the two millimeters thickness, just put enough to saturate the corners. Okay, and if you buy the three millimeter millimeters um, thickness, also do the same thing. Put enough to to get enough saturation. Okay, so now that we're done, you can see you still have more there. And this is not even up to um, an ounce of fragrance soil with DPG. And I did three of this. 
okay so the people who are buying the starter kits on my website you're getting two um, ounces of the fragrance oil mixed with DPG and you're getting eight cardstock either the 2.0 or the 3.0 depending on which one you want and also you're getting to um, heat transfer okay uh, it's gonna be either laser or uh, inkjet depending on which printer you're using okay if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and I'll come back later and I'll show you guys the result of this okay if you have any questions let me know if you haven't joined the Facebook group the link to the Facebook group is in the description when you join it um, I will approve you immediately okay guys um, this is where I draw the curtain if you want to you know shoot me an email my email is in the description as well okay guys we'll see you later thank you and bye bye for now